Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of MacBreak Studio. Now, before I get started, I wanted to let you know that we're running a site-wide sale on all of our Final Cut Pro Motion and DaVinci Resolve tutorials for 35% off, excluding bundles, using this coupon code. So with that, let's check out today's tutorial. Over the past several weeks, I've received a number of emails asking how I would go about matching two or more cameras in a multicam clip. Here I have opened a multicam project of my good friends Frank and Shayla performing a gospel song. Opening the angle viewer, I'll option click on each angle to switch between them. I shot this with a Sony a7S III, a Canon C100, and a Blackmagic 4K Pocket Cinema camera. For multicam clips, I often prefer grading the angles before I do my editing. Next, I'll jump into the angle editor so I can see my angles stacked on top of each other. Final Cut Pro can only show you one angle at a time in the viewer, and the angle that appears is determined by this button in the header of the angle container called the monitoring angle. And currently, the monitoring angle is set for camera A, the wide shot. If I wanted to see camera B in the viewer, I would click the monitoring angle button for that angle. I'll start by correcting the medium shot of Shayla by selecting the angle and pressing Command-6 to bring up the color inspector. Then add a color wheels corrector. I'm going to make only a small correction here by reducing the highlights gain. Here's the before and after. I want to match the wide shot to this corrected medium shot. But before I do that, I want to save this correction as a reference frame. I'll close the angle viewer then press Control command 6 to call up the Comparison Viewer. In the lower right of the window, I'll click Save Frame. The frame is saved into the Frame Browser, which can be opened by clicking the Frame Browser button. Back in the timeline, I'll enable the monitoring angle for the wide shot so I can see both images side by side. Now before I begin correcting the wide shot, I like to bring up video scopes so that I can compare them using a more objective method than just my eyes. I'll click inside the Comparison Viewer window to make it active, press Command-7, then click inside the viewer to make it active and press Command-7. To optimize my screen for shot matching, I'll hide the Libraries pane by pressing command Control one Then under the View menu for both scopes, I'll set these for vertical layout. I'll also increase the size of these panes by dragging downward just above the toolbar. With the wide angle selected, I'll add a color wheels corrector. I can see in the scopes for this wide shot that the traces are not sitting on the zero line as I see in the scopes for the reference frame. Watching the scopes, I'll reduce the gain slightly in the shadows and midtones. Often, a little goes a long way in color correcting. Comparing the images, there's a slight reddish cast in the gray wall and in the carpet that doesn't appear in the reference image. Using the Highlights Color Balance puck, I'll drag towards blue on the color wheel to counteract the red. And again, only a small adjustment is needed here. Let's look at a before and after. For the medium shot of Frank, I'll make a small adjustment in the highlights and mids gain Then call it a day. Here's a short section of my final cut. 